Welcome back guys. Just editing this week's video and I realised I don't have an intro. What are we looking at here? We're looking at iron fallout removers and specifically, can anything beat Bill Hammer Coruscant? Coruscant then. Uh, it's kind of like the first fallout remover I was suggested to, and this is on Detailing World, probably 10 years ago, if that. And it's been fantastic. And I've tried other ones over the years and they've never been quite as good. But here I have got G Technique C5. No, I haven't. I've got G Technique W6. Sorry about that. Garris Therapy Iron Oxide, Geon Iron, and Corosol. We're going to see which of these ones is best. Am I saying this is an exhaustive look at all these fallout removers? No, I haven't tested every single one on the market. But these are big, popular brands and they might be ones available in different markets around the world. So it's worth having a look at. Anyway, the only real way to find this out is by getting on and watching, isn't it? All right, so first off, I'm going to go with the Geon, it's going to be here. And then I'm going to put the G Technic over there, and I've got the bottles on the other hand. Uh, and then I'm going to put the um, Built Hammer over this side and the Garage over, over that side. The reason I'm going with these first is these are much smaller pumps, so I'm going to get less on there in one go, I think, so I'm going to have to spend a bit more time getting on there. So let's give it a go. Anyway, this looks bad, and this looks like it's got some fallout on it, so let's see what we get to. Christ, not much coming out of that one. All right. And we've got a Coruscant. I only need like two sprays because the trigger's different on this. And then the uh, garage therapy. All right, so we're two minutes in, and I'm just gonna pan you around a little. The Coruscant has gone, well, it's done what Coruscant does, but so has the, the Geon's done pretty well. G Technic's not too bad. The Garage Therapy's doing what it always does. It's really, really slow. Uh, like, it, it can keep going for ages, but it's really slow, and it, they, the job takes longer. The flip side is, of course, with when you've got it like this, is you could potentially do what some of the Americans do when they have like a clay cloth and then come across it as well. And it's got lots of accents in there. It's like the most foamy of the lot. But if we pan right around again, what do you think? To me, the, the Coruscant is doing the best job. I mean, a little bit of overspray over here and that's like lit it up. Um, interesting, like it's managed to, even when it's like a fine mist over here, it's got some. The G on the G Technique seems to be a bit stickier, but it's reacting quite well. Like it hasn't run down too much. The Geon and the Coruscant's run down. The, um, over here we can see the garage therapy is still going and it's really starting to dig in now, but we're now three and a half minutes in. Hmm. Well, I could rinse this off and move on now with over here with any of these products. And this is about five minutes in now. This is the Coruscant. Then we're into the Geon and the G Technique here on the right. And then we're over onto the Garage Therapy. It's doing its job, but it's slow. Now the Garage Therapy one is here, up here. That's the slowest reacting of the lot. This one is the G Technique. That seems to have clung really well. It's still reacting. It's a bit thicker, like gel almost, but not as thick as the Garage Therapy. Then the Geon and the Coruscant are kind of really comparable. The main thing I take from this is, these two, are, the job's almost done. What I'm gonna do is take all of this off, rinse it all off, and then reapply it and see what happens then. All right, so I'm gonna do a bit wider areas now because I didn't need to do the rest of the boot anyway, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're about four minutes to dwell in now. This is the Coruscant. Then the Geon. And the G-Technique. And the Garage Therapy. 
Well, this is the bit that didn't have too much on before, so it's not surprising that it's reacting. This did have some on, the centre part. I'm quite surprised to find that the G-Technique is reacting as much as it is. And similarly, down here, we had the Corosol. It was a little bit short, but not loads. The Gion, a little bit, but not loads. G-Technique, quite a lot. And again, the same thing here for the Garish Therapy. Not as much as the G-Technique's picking up, but I, I don't know if he's picking it up because the other stuff didn't remove it, or because uh, it's better or it's not spreading around as much. So I guess the test will be to do one last application all the way across the back here with just G-Technique and see if it hits anything. But first, the rinse off, and you wanna watch that because I think garage therapy's got a bit of a problem here. Yeah, maybe not such a big problem after all. Uh, I was thinking the um, the G uh, Garage Therapy one foams up a lot more when you rinse it off, and it does, but it does dissipate quite well, so let's not worry about that too much. I'm going to take you around to the bonnet quickly and show you what's happening there, because I've actually soaked the rest of the car in the uh, Garage Therapy, so I can use it up, but also it takes a long time to react, so let's do that while I've been filming this bit. All right, see, the Garage Therapy stuff isn't bad. It does work. I'm just saying it might be the least good of the ones that I'm trying here. All right, so it's the same order as before. We've got Corosol on the left, then it's Gion Iron, then it's G-Technique C5. Here, I'm using the uh, built hamber spray trigger on it, the spare one that I had, because I was worried that the little pump sprayer thing wasn't putting enough product out, and I thought that could be skewing the results. So I've done that a bit differently on this one. That's the only thing that's changed though. It's about four, five minutes of dwell time going on here. I think what's interesting here is you see the time going on. The Corosol and the GN Iron have really reacted. The G Technique's done a bit, but the um, Garage Therapy really hasn't. And you can see just there on the right rear light cluster just how foamy um, it can get with GN Iron. That is because it's packed full of surfactants and it supports this washing with it um, argument. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure myself. So I'm doing another hit here the C5 and then all the Gion Iron and then on with the um, Corosol. I'm giving them another hit to see if they then react and bring out any more. We go have a look at that and then at the very end I'm going to put Corosol across the whole thing to see how much reacts in the various different segments to see if, how much is really left behind by either of these iron fallout products. If we have a look now you can kind of see that everything has reacted still so there's obviously a lot of contamination on this car but um, this was left for about seven minutes of dwell time now and still the garage therapy is kicking in but it's very very slow so it's sprayed down and dried off before the corosol is applied across the hole back here just to see what trace amounts are left behind now, tell me down in the comments what you thought you were going to see by the end of this and what you have actually seen I was quite surprised, but uh, yeah, let me know. It'd be great to hear from you and I'll uh, reply to you down there. Okay then, from that, I can tell you that I still think Corosol is the best of the ones I've got here. I still think it's the best overall. I've not used anything that beats it. I was incredibly surprised how close the Gion Iron was. I'd say it's directly comparable. It's very expensive though. So for, I think it's like 60 pounds for five liters of Corosol. It is made in the UK, so there's no import tax. Um, Gion Iron is 80 pounds in the UK for four liters. So it's a lot more expensive. Uh, part of that is Gion brand tax. Part of it is import tax, you know, um, and therefore there's aspects of it that make it expensive, but it is very, very good. So if you are watching this somewhere else and you, can only, you can't get Corosol, but you can get Gion Iron, it is brilliant. Um, then for me, it's probably Garage Therapy Iron Oxide. It is effective, 
the working reaction time for me is a no-no. It just takes too long. There is an argument that you can use it with like a clay cloth or you can use your mitt to wipe it around, but you're just adding even more time to the process. I, I just don't think there's a need, especially when you've got a product like Corosol that just works. And in the very bottom there is uh, G-Technic C5, which is garbage. I just, just wouldn't bother. It clearly, it's very thick. It doesn't spread around particularly well, but it also doesn't react particularly well. And the thickness is an interesting bit. Um, I apply mine now through a pump sprayer just to get the coverage around the car more quickly. And to that end, I, both Gion Iron and um, Built Hamber Corosol are much thinner. They're not thin, they're just much thinner and they can easily spread around like they'd be sprayed on. Particularly the Gion Iron, that's the thinnest of the lot. But my money goes for Corosol. I hope you enjoyed that one. See you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be fantastic.